Hey guys, welcome back to Travel Global. Today we'll show you 10 things to do in the Netherlands. Here at Travel Global, our goal is to bring you some of the most amazing travel destinations and tips as you adventure around the globe. So do subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell icon to add amazing new places to your travel bucket list. Number 10. Cathedral Square Utrecht A popular tourist destination for its many fine historic buildings. The Dutch city of Utrecht should definitely be included on your Netherlands travel itinerary. Start your exploration of this pedestrian-friendly city in Cathedral Square. The Domplein, as it's known locally, is the site of St. Martin's Cathedral, or Dom Church, or Domkirk. Although founded in 1254, much of what you see dates from the 14th and 15th centuries. You'll also want to visit the Dom Torren a surviving standalone church tower built in the 1300s that rises high above the surrounding buildings. Be sure to make the climb up to the viewing platform for superb views over Utrecht. Although there are 465 steps to climb, the guided tour that comes with this climb is an excellent introduction to the city's rich history. Number 9. De Hoog Value National Park You may be surprised to learn that the Netherlands, a relatively small country, boasts one of the world's most diverse national park programs. The largest is De Hoog Velu National Park, between Arnhem and Apeldoorn, rightly considered one of the best places to visit in the Netherlands for outdoor enthusiasts. Covering nearly 13,800 acres, this national park is the largest continuous nature reserve in the country, as well as being one of the most popular day trip destinations for locals and visitors alike. Featuring dense woodlands in the north, as well as a fascinating sculpture park, the area was once a country estate and hunting reserve, and to this day is home to many red and roe deer. Number 8. The Windmills of Kinderdijk On the River Nord, between Rotterdam and Dordrecht, is the famous village of Kinderdijk, Children's Dyke, which takes its name from an incident during the St. Elizabeth's Day Flood of 1421 after a child's cradle had been stranded on the dike. The big draw these days are the fantastically preserved 18th century windmills. Now UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the 19 Kinderdijk windmills built between 1722 and 1761 are the largest surviving concentration of windmills in the Netherlands. Number 7. Oudhaven, Rotterdam Located an easy one-hour train ride from Amsterdam, the port city of Rotterdam is well worth visiting for its well-preserved Old Harbour or Oudhaven. The city has a long and rich maritime history thanks largely to its location on the Nieuwe Maas, an arm of the Rhine River, and its proximity to the English Channel. Part of Rotterdam's superb maritime district, Oudhaven is ideal for those who enjoy seeing the sights on foot. The harbour is chock full of old houseboats and sailing ships, many of them on display at the Maritime Museum Rotterdam. Number 6. Van Gogh Museum Amsterdam as befits one of the world's greatest artists, the spectacular Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam is ranked an impressive number two in a leading list of the top art museums globally, attracting almost 1.5 million visitors each year. Home to the world's largest collection of Van Gogh paintings, many donated by the artist's family, this impressive gallery and museum was specially built to showcase more than 200 paintings, 500 drawings, and 700 letters in its vast collection. Works by his contemporaries are also on display. A highlight is participating in the museum's new Meet Vincent van Gogh experience, which offers a fascinating, high-tech, interactive look at the artist's life and times, as well as his best-known works. Number 5. Historic Binnenhof, The Hague Known the world over as the location of the International Court of Justice, The Hague, or Den Haag, is the political center of the Netherlands. It's here the country's government does their work and where you'll find the home of the Dutch royal family in Nordain de Palace. The Hague also makes for an excellent travel destination for visitors wanting to get a taste of the country's rich history. Whether you're staying here for a few days or visiting as a day trip from Amsterdam, start your exploration in the city's historic Binnenhof district. Literally translated as the Inner Court, the Binnenhof dates back as far as 1250. It's the oldest part of the city and a delight to explore on foot. Number 4. Anne Frank House, Amsterdam The Anne Frank House is a must-see when in Amsterdam. On Prinsengracht, in the home where Anne's family hid for much of World War II, they were Jewish refugees from Frankfurt, is where this remarkable girl wrote her famous diary. Although she died just two months before the war ended, 
Her legacy lives on through her words, which have since been translated into 51 languages. The back of the fully restored house where the Frank family had their hiding place has been kept in its original state as much as possible, and is a poignant monument to a tragic slice of world history and a brave young woman who continues to inspire people around the globe. Number 3. Kuchenhof Think of the Netherlands and you'll inevitably think of tulips, the country's most popular flower. And one of the most beautiful places to visit in the Netherlands showcases these and other spring bulbs in spectacular abundance. Given its handy location relative to Amsterdam, it's a 45-minute drive away or just under an hour by public transit, it makes for a fun and easy day trip from the country's largest city. Kuchenhof, otherwise known as the Garden of Europe, is located on the outskirts of the town of Lisse, in what's widely considered the Bull Belt of the Netherlands. The largest public garden in the world, it boasts more than 70 acres of what was once the former kitchen or kuchen garden of a large country estate. Kuchenhof displays more than 700 varieties of tulips, which are at their height in April and May. Number 2. Rijksmuseum Amsterdam the spectacular Rijksmuseum, aka the National Museum, in Amsterdam's Museum Plain or Museum Square, has been collecting rare art and antiquities since 1809. Not surprisingly, its extensive collection today amounts to nearly 7 million works of art, including 5,000 paintings in more than 250 rooms, as well as a vast library with some 35,000 books. Apart from its unique collection of old masters, this spectacular museum offers an exhaustive account of the development of art and culture in the Netherlands, and is especially rich in traditional Dutch handicrafts, medieval sculpture, and modern art. Be prepared to spend the best part of a day or longer exploring this museum's endless treasures. Number 1. Jordaan and Amsterdam's Canals Canals are as important a part of Amsterdam's cityscape as they are to the city of Venice, and some of the most enduring memories for any visitor are the time spent exploring the city's wonderful waterways. While many of Amsterdam's best tourist attractions can easily be accessed by boat tour or water taxi, including most of the major museums and art galleries, nothing beats strolling along the smaller, quieter streets that line the waterways. Particularly charming is the Jordaan, a neighborhood built in the early 1600s to house workers and immigrants drawn here for the city's religious tolerance. Along with its small canal-side houses, look for the neighborhood's many hofjes, the quaint inner courtyards hidden behind the buildings. Another photo-worthy neighborhood is the Grachten Gordel, with many of its small bridges and quaint 17th-century homes. You'll be rewarded as you explore these 400-year-old streets with examples of beautiful architecture, small boutique shops, cafes, and gardens. Be sure to look out for the many houseboats moored along the canals. What destination in the Netherlands did you like the best? Leave us a comment below and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future travel videos. With that, I'll see you in the next video.